Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video you will learn how you can create this engaging slide design with dynamic text animations in PowerPoint. You can use this slide for your intros or your sections. And now here is a little bit of information about the fonts and colors that I'll be using. So as you can see I'll be using Montserrat font. Some of it will be bold, some of it will be regular. And these are the 6 beautiful colors that we will include in our slide design. That's super duper awesome and the PowerPoint version that I'm using is Microsoft 365 and my slide size is set to aspect ratio 16 by 9. That's beautiful and now let's jump to step number 1 that is preparing your slide. So to create this kind of slide design all you need to have are two simple text boxes. So the first text box has this text create your and the second text box has this text awesome slides. And I have changed the color of this word slides to this beautiful blue color. And by the way, the text in the first text box is center aligned and in the second text box the text is aligned to the left side. This way it will be a little bit easier to work with. And as you can see we have a few more elements, uh, one more text box and one rounded rectangle. That's super duper easy. Okay. And as you can see as well we have a couple of elements in the background. So I have added these elements in the slide master view. So let's uh, quickly jump to the slide master. So here we have a logo, we have this little menu icon and we have the year. Okay, and I have added a few more variations, red and green, just for fun. Alright my friends, so let's get back to normal view and I think we are done with step number one. So let's go to step number two, which is creating a text mask. Okay, so we need to cover this word slides and we need to create a mask for that. So let's go to insert shapes and let's find a rectangle tool. Here it is, so let's select it and now let's just draw a rectangle. We can make it a little bit uh, wider, just like that. Let's make sure it covers this word slides. Now let's just zoom in and let's change the color of this rectangle. Let's give it this beautiful gray color, the same color that our slide background is using. And for now let's give it a little bit of transparency, for example 20% so that we can see the text behind this rectangle. Okay. Later on we will remove the transparency but for now let's uh, leave it the way it is. You can adjust the size of this rectangle and now let's just make a duplicate of this rectangle. You can do that by holding down the control key. And for this duplicate let's add this beautiful blue color, let's remove the transparency and let's make it narrow, for example for the width let's insert 0.12 centimeters, looking good. And now let's make sure that we select this little blue rectangle, let's select the semi-transparent rectangle, let's align them to the left and to the bottom. Okay, so now we can group these guys into one group and let's uh, give them a proper name, for example mask, okay. So that uh, little blue rectangle is like a text cursor that we will use in our text animations. Super duper awesome. And now as you can see once I'm dragging this mask over the text, the text is being hidden and once I drag this mask away the text is being uncovered. So this is basically the mechanics of the animation. And now let's make sure that we bring this text box a little bit to the right side as if this word awesome will be in the center of the slide and for that we can activate the slide guides. And now let's move this text box to the right side so that this word awesome looks like as if it's in the center of the slide. And now let's grab the mask and move it to the left side so that it covers the word slides. Okay. So I think we're finished with step number two and let's go to step number three which is adding morph transition. Alright, so let's duplicate our last slide. Okay, and in this uh, duplicate slide let's make sure that we move this uh, second text box to the middle of the slide. So let's just align it to the center just like that. And now let's just grab this mask and move it to the right side so the whole text is visible, just like that. And in the transitions options let's make sure that we choose morph transition and for the duration we can use half a second instead of two seconds. This will make it faster. And now let's check it out what's the result and as you can see morph transition does this uh, text uncovering animation. And next let's duplicate the slide number two and let's bring it to the bottom of the slide list and once again let's make sure that we apply the morph transition and once again half a second for the slide duration, for the transition duration. Alright, so here the text is hidden, after that we uncover it and finally we cover it once again. So let's check it out on the full screen and let's see how this text animation looks like. Okay, so we move to the next slide, we uncover the text, we move to the next slide, we cover it once again. That's super duper awesome. Okay my friends, I think you're doing super wonderful and now let's go to the next step which is creating a jump slide. Let me explain and show you what a jump slide is. So first of all let's duplicate our last slide, okay. 
And in the slide transition options, let's make sure that this time we choose a transition which is called none. So basically no slide transition. And for now, we can just uh, select the mask and let's just hide it so that we can access uh, this uh, text box. Now let's just type in a new word, for example, videos instead of slides. Let's activate the mask once again. Okay. And now basically let's just check it out on the full screen and let's see what happens. And as you can see, once I'm moving from slide number four to slide number five, there's no transition. So we're basically just jumping uh, between the slides. So this is where this jump slide name comes from. Okay, so the slide transition is set to none and we can go to the next step, which is changing colors. So once again, let's duplicate our last slide. And now once again, let's make sure that we bring this text box to the center of the slide. Let's just click on this little button, align to center. And let's move the mask to the right side so the whole text is visible, just like that. And now we can change up the colors. So I'll be using this beautiful color, color or coral, yeah, coral red color. And as well, let me change the slide layout from blue to red so that we have this uniform style all over the slide. Looking good. Okay, and let's duplicate this red slide once again. Let's go to transitions. Let's add morph transition and for the duration, half a second. Okay, and let me just reposition this text box once again. So let's bring this uh, word awesome to the center of the slide. And once again, we can use the slide guides to help us, uh, you know, know where's the center of the slide. Okay, so the word awesome is in the center and let's uh, cover this word videos with the text mask. Super duper awesome. And by the way, let's not forget to add a morph transition to slide number six as well. Duration half a second. All right. And now, as you can see, all of the slides pretty much have the morph transition except the uh, jump slide, which has none slide transition. But the rest of them have the morph slide transition. And of course, for the first uh, slide, you can choose fate or anything else that you wish. And now let's check out what we have created so far. So as you can see, the jump slide is working and the rest of the morph animations are working as well. Okay, so I think we can remove the transparency of the mask so that this uh, text animation is looking uh, a little bit more realistic. So let's just go to each of these masks and remove the transparency. Of course, you can have zero transparency from the start. I was just using 20% to show you how it works. Okay, so let's check it out once again. And as you can see, we're getting this beautiful text typing and text replacing effect. Super duper awesome. And at the same time, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, my friends. And in my original presentation, I have added a few more slides with a green design. So let me show you how they look like. So here I have added these uh, slides with this word posts. Okay. And I have applied this green slide layout. So let me show you how this animation looks from the start. And by the way, one more thing that I did for all of these slides, I made sure that all of these slides transition or advance automatically after zero seconds, which means that all of these slides will be playing automatically. And one more thing that I did, I went to slideshow, set up a slideshow and made sure that this uh, loop continuously until escape is checked, which means that this, uh, that these beautiful slides will be looping and auto transitioning until the end of time. So if you would like for your slides to play automatically and to loop continuously, make sure that you're using the same settings. And this is the final result, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. Now you know how you can create this engaging, animated, dynamic slides that you can use for your intros or for your sections. That's awesome. All right, my friends, that's all for today's tutorial. Tutorial slides will be made available to all of my supporters on Patreon.com. And I wish you a wonderful day, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.